blocked out my morning workout. I've been awake since about 5.30 this morning. Usually I wake up anywhere between 5 and 6.30 to get my day started. The first hour or so is just me waking up, getting my day ready, getting mentally ready, writing down what I have to do, my daily tasks. My training is based around calisthenics. I'm a firm believer that health is wealth and if you want to continue to grow and to do all your stuff in this world, you gotta be healthy, dude. So I work out anywhere from five to six times a week, mainly calisthenics. Today was a light training day, just did high reps. Just wanted to get warmed up and ready to work on the car today. So yesterday, the first modification for the M3 was delivered. So today we are going to install it. All right, enough of me bantering. Let's go bring in the M3. I need to start that because I got a buddy coming over in a couple hours and we're gonna have a busy day working on his stuff. So I need to do my documentation first. So let's go start the car. So this is pretty cool to see. I can never get tired of this view. We got my S2K next to my M3. That looks so sick. Dude, the black on black. As you guys can see from my S2K, I kind of have a theme going on with how I like my cars to look. So that's what we're gonna be doing to the M3 today. Okay, so as I said, the M3 is gonna receive some new parts today. And I kind of have a theme that I'm trying to create with every vehicle I own. And that is going to be a kind of black ambiance. And by that, I mean, I really want to portray a dark color with outlying colors. So for my S2000, I have a black on bronze with white. And for the M3, I kind of want to do the same color, the black on bronze with a white accent. But here's the catch. So as I said, there is the bronze with the white accent with the black color. But the biggest catch to having this type of combo is clearing out the car. So when it comes to headlights, taillights, ambers, I'm a really big fan of having clears. I just think it adds a better aesthetic, gives it more like a frosty gangster kind of vibe. And it's just, you could not go wrong with clears. They just look so good. And especially on a dark color, I think they portray a good contrast, you know. At night and in not so bright areas, you're not able to see certain you know, certain parts of the vehicle. And I think that clearing out these little light, clearing out the lights add a more, I don't know, a better ambiance, I guess you could say for lack of better terms. I mean, you just can't be mad at it. It just looks really good. The lighting isn't the best in here, but I have bronze TEs and that paired with the black and the white cage. It just, this car suits, it flows so well.
All right, so right now me filming this clip is about a week later. Sadly, my Sony did die, but that worked out perfectly fine because what I did was order all new LEDs for the E36. And let me just show you guys how it looks. It looks so fucking awesome. way better i'll turn them off in a sec but as you guys can see everything was swapped to a more modern look so something cool and something super small that i usually do with all my vehicles i have it on the s2000 my forerunners parked somewhere outside but something that i always do with all my vehicles is change out the turn signals now on these corner lights for the e36 originally they came with the silver orange amber that all e36s come with so when it comes to lighting, I'm not the biggest fan of amber at all. I'm a really big sucker for the whole clean, crisp 6K LED look. I think it gives it a really good modern look. But what I did was I ordered switchback LEDs. What that essentially is doing is allowing is allowing the corner light to have that 6K white look. But when I switched the hazards or the turn signal, this LED, those corner lights were turned to amber. gives the car a whole different look. You're not having your amber on all the time, only when you have your hazards or your turn signals on. And just like this, I'll turn back to clear. And just like that, we're back to the clears. Such a good upgrade. I'm not hating, this looks really good. Yeah. I'm loving the clears, they look really good. The next upgrade I'm doing to the lighting on the E36 is gonna be either the headlights or the tail lights. I really wanna retrofit them. Um, I'm gonna, I have an idea that I wanna do with the headlights. I wanna retrofit them to give it a more modern look. You guys will see once I actually do it. I have like this envisionment in my head. It's gonna look really good. Yes, yeah, so I will be upgrading the headlights to glass because these plastic ones, I don't know if you could tell on camera, but they're all scratched up and they just, they look nasty. Kind of hard to tell. Um, also gonna upgrade the fogs. They're all cracked and broken. That one's cracked too. So definitely need to upgrade those. In the description below, I'm gonna leave a link so you guys can find all the LEDs that I use for the E36, as well as the corner light kit that I did get. Such a big upgrade, dude. This car looks so good without the ambers, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. These cars look really good, especially in black with the clears. <sighs> dude, it's so good. Let's just, just take a second to appreciate this. I got something we can replace real quick. This actually came in the mail today and we're gonna replace these bad boys because these look like shit. As you guys can see, they are just complete ass. They've been painted over and they're all wrinkly and shit and they gotta go. So what I did was order some new candy girls. Like, give you guys a better look. There we go. It's a nice gloss finish. Looks really good, good quality. Got these off of Amazon for a decent price. I will link these as well. Yeah, let's get to replacing. One thing that I'm doing is challenging myself not to uh, look up videos on YouTube to figure out how to remove stuff on this car. I'm just trying to figure it out myself. That's definitely been, it's gonna be a big challenge. I know I'm gonna break a lot of stuff. You know, I feel like that's what a lot of people do is and you don't know how to do something. I'm gonna leave it as a last resort to like go on YouTube and obviously research something that I don't know, I really don't know how to do, but for the most part, I just wanna figure it out by myself, see if it's more common sense than anything else. But it's a learning experience, so we go. Ah, ain't 
that bitch. Alright, well from old to new, I think that looks really good. Yeah, I like it. M3 is getting there, boys. She's getting there. Still such a crazy combo to see together, man. So fucking awesome. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed episode two of the M3 build. We are making lean way, part by part, dollar by dollar, little by little. We are getting there. I'm excited to see where this car is gonna end up and how it's gonna look. It's gonna be a freaking beast of a car. I'm excited to drive it. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna go edit the video and probably play some video games and then probably car tonight because I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.